Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your Blink home security system. So first thing you wanna do is go to the app store and go ahead and get the Blink home app, put in your password. Once you download it, go ahead and make up a username and password. Once you do that, then you can get in there. So what you wanna do is first add a system. And so this is for our home, so I'm gonna name it home. Click uh, done. And then what you wanna do is add your sync module. So that's the first thing, so hit that. And this screen will come up. So there's your sync module. Click ready. And let's access the camera. And what you want to do is on the back, there's a QR code. So obviously I'm not going to show that because that's personal to me. Uh, scan that. And then basically this is everything set up. So get it all plugged in. Uh, mine's not plugged in yet, but once it is, you'll see the green power light and the blue blinking light. So there you go. So once you see that, then you can do yes on the screen. So it's coming up right here so hit yes and let the sync module you know find the your app on the phone so that's that piece click OK and let them sync once you do that then once it's synced then go it's gonna ask you for your Wi-Fi so go ahead and find your Wi-Fi and put in your password and then it's going to actually sync them together so once it's done done that then it's gonna update the firmware so there's a lot of firmware this thing it's gonna take a second once it does that, click OK. And now you can add a camera. So click Add Blink, add that Blink module. And then here's the actual camera. So you push down, pull from the bottom, and the backing will come off. So once you do that, click Ready. And it's going to ask you to scan the QR code on the actual camera. So obviously I'm not going to show that either, but it's right in the middle of the back of the camera. Once you do that, it's going to look for the camera and now it's got you know more firmware so let it do its thing it takes a minute now you're done so now the camera's synced up so click done now you can have access to the camera so obviously you want to grant microphone access as well so you can use the audio and now you can rename it so I've renamed mine this one's gonna be the front door you see in the lower left there if you hit the live view you can view live and then the other side is if you want to take a picture <clears throat> Once you've done that, then go ahead and set it up and use the live feed to look at the actual camera before you mount it. So once you see, yeah, this looks good, go ahead and mount it. Use the mounting riser, this circular thing. Um, just trust me, it helps with the angles. So those nodules are going to go into the, the actual mount there to give it the actual, like, more angle. So go ahead and screw these in. These are wood screws, self-tapping screws, so only put it into wood. If you have concrete or something, you're going to need anchors, so just be aware of that. And then basically that's pretty much it. Now all you need to do is just mount the actual camera to the mount. So this thing, all you do is just push straight in, and it'll pop into place. You'll feel it. And then you can you know, move it to whatever angle you want. So that's basically it. So if you want to take it off, hold the backing and pull straight out, and it comes off. So if you need to change your batteries or something like that. Hey guys, so hopefully you found that tutorial helpful. So I'm going to do a quick review of the cameras. So first thing is the app. Uh, I thought it was very intuitive. It's pretty easy to use. You play around with it for like five seconds. You can figure it out. It's not too hard. Um, one thing I do like is the sensitivity. Uh, there are different settings you can do from zero to ten. So I have it at six, which is pretty good. You know, it's it's sensitive but not too sensitive. So I like that there's that setting where it's not just whatever they want. Whatever, whatever is set up, you can actually change it to whatever you want, which is nice. Uh, there's a new thing. I don't know if this is new for firmware 7.75, which is the version I have right now, but there's like these active activity zones. So you can control the actual motion detection. So you can actually get rid of some of the, the basically the cells, if you want to call them. So you can, hey, if you have wind or something and you have leaves moving, you can say, hey, app, just ignore those <laughs> leaves if there's motions. It's all good. So that's really cool. Uh, that way you don't get so many notifications if you have the motion detection you know, active. It's just it's a nice little feature that I really like. Uh, the audio on these uh, isn't really that good, to be honest with you, but I'm cool with that because all I'm really looking for is the functionality of the audio to be able to use. Um, you know, I'm not looking for any like Hollywood quality audio here, so just the functionality for me is fine. 
One of the main reasons we want to get this is because we want to obviously see who's delivering our packages and if we can catch any suspicious activity that may be occurring, which hopefully we'll never have to use, but it's there in case we need it. But my favorite reason is because when we bought this house, the front door I hope for whatever reason was like plugged up so it's basically not useful. So now we actually have basically a quote unquote front door eye hole where if some solicitor comes by and they knock on the door, well, we can use the live view to actually look at who it is before we answer the door. So then if we if, if it is a solicitor, we can go, meh, we'll just ignore them, you know? Or even the motion detection might tell us before if it's on. So then we'll get the notification, look at it and say, oh, it's a solicitor, so we'll ignore them. So it's really nice to have that capability uh, right at your fingertips. One thing I did want to point out though, is this camera is supposed to film at 1080p, which it looks like it does. And if you look on your screen, like your small, uh, you know, cell phone screen, it does look like it's 1080p. But I did notice that if you export the files to say, you know, text it to yourself, save it in your, in your uh, picture folder, or if you send it to your email, it really compresses the file. And so a 10 second file was like five megs. And I think normally for a 1080p file, that's usually like around 100. And so you will notice that with the pictures, with the uh, clips I show you. And so maybe that's just because Blink gives you free cloud access. I don't know, that's perhaps the reason, but it just was kind of a bummer that the clips that you can, the clips that come out that you're able to look at on your computer screen are not anywhere near 1080p quality that you would see on your phone. So just keep that in mind when you look at these uh, clips that I show you. So overall, I think this is a really good system to have. It's, you know, best bang for your buck smart security system where you can access cameras from anywhere, which is awesome. And so, of course, I'm sure what you guys are looking for is you want to see the video quality since that's pretty important if you're going to give, you know, this footage to the police or someone like that. So what I did is I took different, different footages in daylight, twilight, and night with different settings. So I'm going to let you guys be the judge of those videos. And so you can see for yourself if this system is worth it for you or not. So if you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And here come the videos. Hey guys, so this is daylight, it's about four feet away. Uh, this is intensity medium, and uh, the quality is best. This is daylight, uh, intensity is medium, quality is enhanced. This is daylight, Inten intensity is on high, video quality is best. It's daylight. Intensity is on high, video quality is on enhanced. Now let's test this audio and see what it sounds like without the phone in my hand. See if there's that echoing sound. I hope not. Hey guys, I'm about four feet away. It's twilight right now. Intensity is on medium, video quality is on best. It's twilight, intensity is on medium, Video quality is enhanced. It's twilight. Intensity is on high. Video quality is on best. It's twilight. Video intensity is on high. Video quality is enhanced. It's totally dark. Intensity medium. Video quality best. It's totally dark. Intensity medium. Video quality enhanced. Totally dark. Intensity is on high. Video quality is on best. It's totally dark. Intensity is on high. Video quality is on enhanced. It's totally dark. Intensity is on low. Video quality is enhanced. So as you can see, uh, this is totally dark outside, but I have lighting, and the lighting really helps. So this is intensity medium, video quality is enhanced. Again, one more, totally dark, but with lighting. Intensity is high, and video quality is enhanced. 